Hi everyone, so you know how I have a collection of phones? Naturally, I also have a collection of SIM cards as well. Um, so this one um, is an orange SIM card. Here's what it looks like from the back. See, so yeah, this is an orange SIM card. Um, over here, I have a T-Mobile SIM card, so um, you can see uh, T-Mobile UK, and over here, I have an EE SIM card, as you can see over here. Um, And you can tell this one's a multi pack. Um, put it in its um, 2FF like size, so the mini SIM. But um, this is what it looks like from the back. So, yeah, it's an EE SIM card. Um, I have an O2 SIM card over here. As you can see, I don't really need to explain this any further, but yeah, he is an O2 SIM card. And over here is a Vodafone SIM card. Um, as you can see right here, that's what it looks like from the back. So it's a Vodafone SIM card. And last but not least, a 3 SIM card. This is what it looks like from the back. And yeah. Um, you know, um, you may be wondering why I have all these uh, SIM cards. And the reason has to do with, uh, with um, if I like buy a phone to add to my collection and it's not and it's not unlocked and it's not specified uh, what uh, network it's locked to I could just use one of these uh, six sim cards if none of the six sim cards work then it's um, either an MVNO uh, which I don't have any MVNO sim cards I just have these six and that's it uh, I do have more than six sim cards but um, the they're the same ones, the same operators, so I'm just showing one of each. Either that, or they're locked to a network from a different country. And when it's locked to a network from a different country, that's a very bad sign. And I don't know what I'll do at that point if, um, you know, if it's if the phone I get is locked to a network that's not from this country. But yeah, um, here are my collection of SIM cards, and so yeah. Uh, thanks for watching.